Hi everyone! Annyeonghaseyo! Nagaesumida! That's probably the only thing I can say in Korean. Um, but yeah, you guessed it. I'm doing a Korean beauty skincare routine today. Yay! It's my first YouTube video ever, so I'm pretty excited. I really wanted to do this um, YouTube video for you guys. The Korean skincare routine has just like 10 um, steps, but I've simplified the routine for you guys, um, which works for me. So yeah, I hope this helps all of you enjoy! We're going to start off with the makeup remover or cleanser. This just works for me. I'm using the Face Shop Mango Seed Cleansing Wipes. What I like about this is, is that it removes all your makeup um, and all the dirt and every gross things on your face, but it also leaves it where you moisturize. There are some tissues that leaves it very dry and it just it's very bad for your skin. So just take a tissue and just wipe it all over your face, uh, cleanse it, and it's gone. Yay! After that, we're gonna move on to the water-based cleansers. I really, really, really recommend this Innisfree Olive Real Cleansing Foam. It's rich in antioxidants and it's good for anti-aging, it nourishes your skin, it's rich in vitamin E and A. Yes, I did my research. It just maintains that elasticity and elasticity and softness in your face, so it's really good. And after you use it, I promise you, your face will be really, really like baby butt-ish, butt-ish. So just use it on your face, uh, scrub it a little bit, make sure to wash your hands before you use this, and wash it off. And just give it a little bit of a massage. Uh, that really tones your skin and just shapes your face as well and it circulates all the blood and just makes you feel so refreshed. Moving on to the third step. The third step is exfoliating and what it does is it just takes away all the dead skin and all the fibrous. It clogs the skincare products from being soaked in. So what I want to recommend to you today is this white egg product. Uh, this is so good. I swear by this. It's the Holika Holika uh, Smooth Egg Skin Peeling Gel. It doesn't have those um, rough scrub material that you usually find in your exfoliators. But I really like that fact that if you use those rough scrubs, it actually damages your skin. It, it just comes in a gel format. And what you do is you press the, the the bottle, rub it all over your face and massage it and wait a few seconds and just scrub all the dead skin cells and I'll start to appear like white um, white eraser <laughs> products and you can just scrub it off, wash it off and seriously your face will just feel like it's being reborn. I'm serious. It's so good. Make sure to do this only twice a week. I got into the habit of doing it every day last time just because I found out how good it was the first time. So after we finally removed all the dirt and all the dead skin cells, we can finally let our skin drink some water. The Korean skincare routine uh, has more steps in this, it has the toners, it has the essence, it has the serums. What these three does basically is just to serve as the minerals uh, for our face. It balances our pH levels and it, it maintains uh, skin repair, uh, hydration, and some serums have a uh, widening effect. Uh, but for my skin, I wanted to keep it basic. I simplified this three-step method into an essence instead. This essence that I found, it serves a dual purpose of being a toner and a serum as well. So I found this really good one, it's called Scenic. I know that it's not uh, our typical face shop, it's not our typical NT products. It's not really high marketed in international markets, but in Korea, this is actually one of their best sellers. Um, the one I'm using right now is a Super Aqua X Essence. It has like deep sea water minerals and seaweed and aqua sea water. After you do your exfoliating, you basically put it on on your face and just rub it on gently. Give it a bit of a massage and you're done. Simple enough. So the next step in the current beauty skincare routine is the sheet mask! 
my favorite brands would be from Face Shop, uh, Innisfree, as always. Uh, some have hydrating, like the aloe vera one, and some have like brightening one. What you do is you put it on, wait for 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, you can watch TV when you're on it. I usually like to just play social media, <laughs> or you can cook, or you can study, or you do whatever you want to do. And then you take it off and just pat it lightly on your face so that it soaks up all those goodness. To seal it all in, use a moisturizer. Use it at the very last because it soaks in all those hard work that you've done uh, for those steps. So yeah, make sure to use a moisturizer. I use the Innisfree Olive Oil Moisturizer. It's not sticky on your face, but it also moisturizes your face very well, so I like that. I don't want to see this. During the morning, after you moisturize, remember to use the sunblock. All the Koreans do this. They know how important it is, um, how the sun dries up your skin so easily and makes it all wrinkly. So remember to protect your skin using a sunblock. For the nighttime routine, I like to use a sleeping pad once a week. This is free wine jelly sleeping pack. It's very good because wine, red wine, actually has lots of antioxidants on your skin. It prevents you from aging, and when you wake up, you'll just feel very fresh, and your skin feels very bouncy, and it doesn't feel dry from all those uh, sleeping. That's it for my Korean beauty skincare routine. Try it for a week. Tag me. Show me how it works on you because it really did. Um, make my skin feel softer and there's not much redness on my skin anymore. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you soon.